Hello and welcome to the fourth video in the conversational Japanese series. Here are the links to the first three. If you have those mastered, then stay right here because Kenta and Ryan Sensei are on the job. First, Kenta is going to teach us a phrase that is absolutely critical to the first few minutes of conversation with someone. What is it you do for work, if you don't mind me asking? Spoken in Japanese, this will be structured more like If you don't mind, what kind of occupation doing currently? Tell me, please. もしよろしければどんなお仕事をされているか教えていただけますか。もしよろしければどんなお仕事をされているか教えていただけますか。もしよろしければどんなお仕事をされているか教えていただけますか。I've worked in a lot of large cities in the United States and I got to see firsthand how people deal with trying to communicate with somebody who's not fluent in their language. I think in general people are not good at adapting how they speak to someone who's not understanding them. So quite often what people will do is speak more loudly or slowly saying the same thing when what might be required is rephrasing what you're saying into the most elementary way you can possibly express it. That's what this phrase is for. Getting the Japanese speaker to restate what they're saying in a very textbook and simple manner. Could you please simplify the way you're saying that? In Japanese this sentence will be structured more like more understood easily speaking style say for me please. もっとわかりやすい言い方で言ってもらえますか。もっとわかりやすい言い方で言ってもらえますか。もっとわかりやすい言い方で言ってもらえますか。thoroughly understand these phrases so they just roll off your tongue without thinking about it. Start over the video, learn these, these are essential. And stay tuned, Kenta and Ryan Sensei and I will be back soon with more phrases and more techniques.